right guys, so today we'll be working on a Chris Craft Corsair 28. It's got twin 350 Mercury MPIs, digital throttle and shift. They're emissions control motors, they've got catalysts on them, and he's getting what he says is a CO2 fault, but I suspect it's an O2 sensor problem. So let's hook up and take a look. Here's what these catalyzed 350s look like. And we can tell they have original manifolds because they still have the sticker for the emissions control on these bad boys. So this thing says 2012 on here, so it really does need some work. You can also see a fuel line kink right here. It does have a new module, so that module is not original. This one is, you can tell because it has a black painted top cap, so that'll need to go and get replaced. If you have any questions about the black top cap, take a look at our other video, I'll link it here. And yeah, this is not too bad of an engine, they don't look awful. Starboard was getting a code, but we'll take a look. So this is the code they're getting. Let's take a look. We had about 417 hours. We're going to take a look at our active faults. So we've got a Cat M OSC excess abort port. So when we get these codes, usually what I like to check is the rear O2 sensors on these engines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull an O2 sensor on the port side and see if it's covered in salt. Nine times out of 10, there's usually not a catalytic converter problem. It's the sensor has not failed electrically, it's failed mechanically and therefore it's showing a really weird reading because it can't pick up any of the data. So let's go and take a look. Be very careful with the rear oxygen sensors. They are usually in there very tight. So if you buy a cheap oxygen sensor tool from the auto parts store to try to remove this, usually it rounds the oxygen sensor off and then it's stuck in there. So use quality tools to take these bad boys out. There we go. <clears throat> then you can unplug it from the harness down underneath. And it may alarm. Let's take a look at this O2 sensor. So this O2 sensor is extremely rusty. It's in very poor condition. So I would recommend that he get a new O2 sensor before anything else and then retry that code and then see what happens from there. If problems continue to occur, then we'll have to go further, but usually it's these oxygen sensors looking so nasty. You can see how the holes are starting to fill in. Well, the same applies on the inside where the filament is. So we'll take a look and we'll get him a new one. Now another thing to do while you're here is reach a boroscope down in there and take a look at the interior of your risers as well as your catalytic converter to make sure everything's good. If there's an issue, you can take a look at it right then and there. So another thing we're gonna look at real quick is our adapt trim port and starboard. So we're gonna take a look here. And none of our values seem ridiculous. Seven, if, if you take this, 1.00 is 100% added fuel. So if you have 0.00, .00 
there's 0% added fuel, and if you have 0.07, you have 7% added fuel. Now, I would recommend, because of 7% added fuel, if he's continually adding fuel and there's none being taken away, two things need to happen to this engine. One, the distributor needs to be restabbed as there's a lot of service bulletins out on these engines for proper distributor timing. The second thing that needs to happen is that he needs front oxygen sensors too. Usually the front oxygen sensors will go bad. And this engine is over 10 years old with salt water use. So because of that, you can get a lot of salt buildup on the pre-catalyst oxygen sensors, which determine your fuel air ratio. And we would, we would deal with that. Hey guys, we work really hard to try to bring you these videos. So if they help you at all, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll try to help as much as we can. Thank you so much.